For the third time in three weeks, an Oahu inmate has escaped custody. The search is on for 29-year-old Rogelio Kabebe. The state says that he failed to return yesterday afternoon from La Moca work for a low. Kabebe is serving time for a felony robbery. If you have seen him or if you have any information, call 911. Hawaii Island police are asking for help to find 23-year-old Cage Wheeler of Kailua Kona. He was last seen Sunday morning around 11 o'clock walking barefoot near Manavalea and Kialaka'a streets. Wheeler is considered endangered and his family says that he needs daily medication. He was wearing a, a gray tank top and black shorts and aqua shorts, uh, black stripes and aqua shorts. Call the number on your screen if you can help. Governor Josh Green has nominated a new first deputy for the Department of Land and Natural Resources. Ryan Kanakaole recently uh, currently serves as deputy attorney general for the state after years as the deputy AG for the Department of Hawaiian Homelands. He served as the attorney for both the Hawaii Housing Finance and Development Corporation and the Mauna Kea Stewardship Oversight Authority. He would replace Laura Ka'akua, who is jumping to a role with the Department of Transportation handling native Hawaiian issues. Kanakaole's nomination is subject to state Senate confirmation. Oahu residents may see more military aircraft in the air starting today. The Hawaii Air National Guard is going to be hosting a two-week fighter jet exercise. It's called Century Aloha, and it's been conducted for more than 20 years. Nearly 50 aircraft and more than 700 personnel will take part. An increase in military aircraft taking off and landing at Daniel K. Inouye International Airport will be seen through the end of the month. After all the debates over where to put Lahaina's ash and fire debris, the heavy lifting starts today. Crews will be moving truckloads of toxic material to the new dump site at Olavalu, uh, approved by the county council last Friday. To secure the debris, that material will be wetted down and wrapped in giant uh, industrial plastic, like, like kind of like a giant burrito. To keep the trucks moving, the county is installing a manual traffic light at the intersection of the Lahaina Bypass and Honoa Pi'ilani Highway. The entire cleanup is expected to take most of the year. The government crews can only enter properties with permission. Property owners can find the forms and project information at the website right there on your screen. There's a chance uh, that if the winds are at the right angle, North Shores could be quite good, but it's still going to be dangerous, uh, so be careful out there. So a first alert today for the winds and for the increasing showers coming tonight. Very windy conditions, so heads up on that. Uh, the winds will start to back off. The rain's going to back off sometime by tomorrow afternoon with a few lingering showers in the morning. And then much drier conditions take over from Thursday into next week. This See It Now digital news brief is sponsored by Long's Drugs, bringing our heart to every moment of your health.